channel if you are new. Hey, and if you are not, you already know what's going on. Damn. Okay, honey, here he is. Damn. I'm Chanel number one, Obvi. When I'm mixed with, I told him half black and I'm half savage, bitch. Savage. Walk in your trap and take over. over. Name another bitch that's cold. Name another bitch that's cold. I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more, I got a chauffeur. I got a chauffeur. Took off, man, they asking me to slow up. Took off. Getting wiser and my money getting older. older. I'm that bitch, I ain't even gonna hold you. Bitch. I'm that bitch, and I thought that they told you. That bitch. Pretty bitch with an attitude. Alright y'all, as y'all can see from today's title, we are going to talk about the ultimate, and I mean ultimate, and I mean insane. I'm not talking about like, you know, the regular what you bring to college. I'm talking about what you really need. Yeah, the ultimate mother freaking college list, y'all. Yes, we is back with it. Another college video. I am rolling them out, y'all. I am rolling them out because I just kind of feel like, what? Y'all just need the... The tea, y'all really need to know. I am really touching on Alabama State, but if you go to any college, this will work for any college, I'm telling y'all. But we are gonna talk about the ultimate college packing list. We're gonna talk about three sections. Living, toiletries, decoration. That's it, that's all, that's all y'all need to know. That's all y'all need to know. So I have a list already, I'm gonna pop it up on the screen, okay? Let me go ahead and find it real quick, real quick, real quick, real, real nice, cute and simple. This list is very important due to the fact that like, <sighs> Alabama State or any college, they're gonna send you a list of what to bring and what not to bring, y'all. And based on that list, a lot of people, they're gonna tell you not to bring candles, they're gonna tell you not to bring lighters, they're gonna tell you not to bring a the heater, they're gonna tell you not to bring anything that they think is gonna blow up the school, but nine times out of ten, oh, they're gonna tell you not to bring air fryers. They're gonna tell you not to bring a whole bunch of stuff, but nine times out of ten, y'all, if we're just keeping it a brick buck thousand, you can bring all that stuff, you just gotta make sure it's hidden and the RA don't see it, but don't, uh, don't let nobody tell you I said it, don't let nobody tell you I said it, I'm just Tell y'all to tea y'all. But anyways, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get right into the mother freaking video. So this video not gonna be long. It's gonna be nice, cute, and short. Uh, most of this stuff y'all can really screenshot and get it. But I'm gonna tell y'all why y'all need. Okay, all right. So the first on the docket, we have the bath. Now, if you stay in CJ Dunn Towers specifically, uh, it's not a lot of stuff that y'all need for the bathroom. But I recommend your own bath towel with your name on it, or if your name is not on it, just get a certain color. Don't get different color bath towels just get a plain color bath towels like go to walmart and get you straight red so if you leave it in a bathroom or you know your towel is wash rags or whatever you leave it in the bathroom people know that that's yours because that shit is red you the only person in there with red get a color that you know you're the only person that's gonna have don't get white don't get black literally get a, a actual certain color my color i had was yellow i had yellow and i'm the only person with yellow towels so i just knew i just knew that was mine anyways i'm gonna go down the list nice quick and simple bath towel hand towel wash cloth shower curtain in, in, in the rings now y'all could talk about this with y'all roommates in there some people will buy it but i recommend you have your own just in case somebody else buy it and it get dirty so you can go ahead and change it out because it gets like that in cj down towers these girls is messy and i'm not lying you might want to go ahead and change them blue, that shit out okay shower curtain and rings towel wrap which is basically for your hair because i know a lot of girls be doing wigs for all the braids and and the way the shower head is it's literally like right on your head like oh my god like it sprays everywhere like it's not one certain in place so I, I recommend that shower caps and stuff um shower mat a shower caddy everybody knows you have to bring the caddy caddies are really helpful when you're in and out your room because your bathroom not in your room so i recommend a shower caddy and in the caddy i recommend soap well i recommend whatever you use in the shower and your teeth stuff and your face stuff in that caddy i recommend a cat please get a caddy shower shoes as well hair wraps and flip-flops that's enough for the bathroom we're gonna get into the bed now the bed Everybody you need your done towers. I know a lot of freshmen gonna be in here. So everybody usually like use the bed that Alabama State gives us, but I do not recommend any college bed that they give y'all. I really do not recommend because them beds is very uncomfortable to me. And the way this bed is right here, babes, I want to feel this bed in my college bed. So I have a mattress uh that I bought from Walmart. It was like $50. It's very cheap, real girl. Like, girl, if you want to sleep very comfortable all your semester, I recommend. So what you gonna do is you're gonna take if you get the mattress that i'm talking about y'all i'm gonna pop it up on the screen if you get the mattress you're gonna take the mattress that they have in the room you're gonna take that out put it in the hallway and you're gonna put your mattress home and that's and i'm gonna tell you what's see or you just put your mattress on top of it but you're just gonna be sitting hella high but it's okay because mine's really hot so a mattress pad 
pad and a mattress pad or actual or actual mattress. Mattress pad is one of those foam pads where you put on the mattress and then tuck it in your sheets. That's like a mattress pad, but yeah. Um, a twin XL sheet set, not a queen, not a king, not a not a not a doty, not a vody, not a queen, king, king, ling, ding, twin, twin extra large, okay. Twin XL pillow, pillow cases, throw blanket, and throw pillows. I do not recommend 17 pillows, y'all. I have 17 pillows on a mini behind bed, but I do recommend at least four. You just never know. You just never know. Okay. All right, tech stuff, which is like what you need for school, kind of, but like electronic wise, that we mostly use at Alabama State, but we also have this stuff in the library. Um, I recommend a laptop, okay? Um, for the people in the TV, for the people that don't really watch TV, I don't recommend the TV for you because you can just watch it on your laptop or your phone. But for the people that like to play music out loud and like like watching TV, I recommend a TV. It's a 64 inch Roku TV at Walmart. I think they're like 70 or 80 dollars. Make sure y'all go get one of those. Okay, an extension cord. Extension cords are very important. I recommend getting at least two. Okay, extension cord, a printer. Actually, y'all don't need a printer, but I do recommend having your own. But you go to the library or you can go downstairs and CJ Dunn Towers. They have a little printer down there that you can print your homework and stuff. A fan. I do recommend a fan because it gets hot sometimes. And some people don't like, you know, like, some people will be turning the air up and down. Because remember, you sharing with, like, three sweet mates. So some people be touching the air, y'all, fidgeting with it. And if you don't want to have no conflict with nobody, just go ahead and get you a fan. I have a fan. I always keep that junk in my face. If my roommate cold, hey, it is what it is. I keep my fan on. Like, I can't go to sleep without my fan. I recommend headphones and I recommend an HDMI cable. Headphones, you got a roommate, okay? That's self-explanatory. And the HDMI cord is if you got a PS4 or some shit. Like, I got a PS4 because I be using, like, all the apps on there. I be using Hulu and shit, so. And I be playing games sometimes, so. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now we're going to get into toiletries. Oh, my God, it's so much on here. So, toiletries. Toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, feminine products, y'all. All y'all, all, all your feminine products, babes. Uh, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, hand wash, hand sanitizer, cleanser, chapstick, nail polish, nail polish remover, makeup, shaver, shaving cream, and deodorization. Okay, okay, period. We, we had to go down that list because I, I didn't have to say that list. Like, y'all should just know. All right. Now we're gonna talk about decor. Decor as in like, you know, making your room pretty. This is what I recommend. A mirror. Not that, not that long mirror y'all be putting on y'all wall, okay? I'm talking about like a square mirror, like a mini square mirror that you could sit up on your desk. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. Here's a picture, that type of mirror, okay? Pictures, any type of pictures, pictures of yourself, you know, like little pictures like this to hang on the wall, period, period, period. Pictures, um, Lighting, which is like a LED light or like a um a ring light, so you can see your makeup because every you're not gonna have time to go to the bathroom every time. Somebody might be in the bathroom while you're trying to do your makeup for a party. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to go out to your sneaky link, you don't want to be like yeah. Just tell y'all. Um, a lamp, a diffuser, a rug, command strips, uh, curtains. Mm, and any type of wall decor that's all that you need for decor like nice sheets nice uh curtain a little mirror a led light girl don't overdo it because you're gonna have to move all that stuff out okay so for storage for like your closet and stuff if you want to if you're a real organized person like moi i recommend a closet organizer which is like cubbies it's just very organized. Or like the little things that you get from Walmart that you could travel with. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> Hangers, jewelry organizer, and over-the-door storage. Over-the-door storage is like when you hang something on your door in your closet and it like got pockets in it. Yeah, one of those. So yeah, that's on storage, y'all. I'm trying to move fast because there's so much stuff on this list. Uh, we could talk about school supplies later. All right, let's talk about cleaning. Everybody love a nice clean room okay everybody love a clean room 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 everybody loves a clean room all right a small trash can okay period a large trash can so you're gonna put the small trash can next to your desk and you're gonna put the large trash can behind your bed or under it yeah and get some bed risers 
So you can put your refrigerator and your microwave under your bed. I'm telling y'all, please go watch my move-in vlog and look at my setup. Please look at my setup. That is how your room should look. Or if you want to have a lot of space, I recommend how my setup is, okay? Broom, okay? Air freshener, all-purpose cleaner, Swiffer, Tylex, Comet, any type of cleaning supplies. Get you a bin and put all your cleaning supplies in it. I, and tissue, all that. Yeah, you're gonna need it. Don't 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 think that you finna go to college and don't need no types of cleaning supplies. You don't get you don't have to get all them cleaning supplies. You can just get these three things: an all-purpose cleaner, some paper towels, and some gloves and like some comments. So you just clean everything after you go. Some baby wipes and stuff, y'all. You're gonna need it, especially in Dunn Towers. You're gonna need it, okay? Oh, and a disinfectant spray. I don't play that. Every two I don't play that. And also the stuff that you need to wash your clothes, tie, softener, all that. Get it. And keep it in a bin for literally cleaning supplies. Get it. You also need a laundry basket, y'all. One for dirty, one for clean. Or you can just get one and just always make sure you fold your cleaning clothes. Okay? Alright, um, food. This is really like, you know, but this is the food that I recommend if you are, don't really eat a lot. Water. Okay, water, popcorn, snacks, and cereal. You it, it, it's just four things. Like you just can't get, you just can't go wrong with what I just said. Water, popcorn, snacks, and cereal. As far as beverages, get you a lot of bevs, like a lot of canned bevs. Um, don't be getting no open drinks. I don't recommend because we get those in the cab, so you don't have to get those. But just get you like canned drinks. Okay, okay, pure, pure, pure. Make sure you guys get a, a, a umbrella, a rain jacket, or a weekend bag. You know what I mean by a weekend bag, right? Like a little bit bag. So, like, if you're going, like, out to, you know what I'm saying, you, you make sure you get that little bag. All right. All right. Okay. Um, documents. Um, yeah, there's so much stuff on here. So, as far as documents that y'all need for campus, uh, you really don't need this stuff for real. But if you do, I always remember your social security number at heart okay that's all you need just remember your social security number at heart just remember it by heart now we're gonna get into laundry i kind of touched on this already but we're gonna get into it just a little bit more a laundry hamper period detergent bleach fabric softener sewing kit which you really don't need for real stain remover which you really don't need for real if you're not a dirty chick um dryer sheets drying rack which you really don't need for real iron ironing board lint brush lint brush i highly recommend because dumb i don't know what it is about Alabama state but like when you put your clothes in the dryer and then you take them out it's mad lint from everybody clothes like everybody clothes put together it's just mad lint i recommend your lint roller um ironing ironing board i you could just get an iron and iron it on your bed i don't really care for the ironing board but I do use my iron, period. Um, and we're not supposed to have one. Just make sure you hide it. And air fryers for the ones who like to cook. Under, hide it under your bed. Microwave, refrigerator, any like electronical fucking cooking stuff. Hide it, you know, in your closet. Don't have it out. If you're going to cook, just make sure you don't have it out. Um, yeah. Now we're going to talk about um, desk and school supplies i recommend a backpack or a nice big bag i recommend a backpack or a nice cute purse like a big purse for you to carry like your laptop and a pen a pencil and a, and a paper pad i don't recommend it none, none really else this is what i did these are my supplies i've ever used for school pen one pen one pencil a red a red ink and a black ink pen a black or blue red marker calculator notepad Three composition books, one spiral notebook, copy paper, and uh, my iPad or my computer. I recommend a computer, y'all. Like, if y'all don't have a computer, I recommend an iPad. And I recommend that iPad pencil. Because we don't use paper unless you have an in-person class for real, y'all. If you taking notes on paper, that's all I recommend. But y'all, y'all don't need all them high school school supplies. Crayons and shit. Get the fuck out of here. Unless you take art. But I'm going to read what I put on here. Backpack or purse, a calendar, which you can use on your phone, but I usually use notes for my calendar. 
but our school has a calendar that it sets up for you on your online stuff but if you want to like have it written down then you can do that too um a desk lamp a desk organizer tape binder paper clips notebook scissors index cards calculator stapler highly recommend a uh, pencil pencil sharpener pens highlighters and a planner a planner is going to help you through college period um i think we pretty much went over everything y'all and it's the last the, the last couple of tips the last tips packing tips okay check with your roommate on who's bringing what like if you already know who your roommate is make sure y'all check and see like if they bring in what you bring in and the way that you could check you can go link, click the link in group me and you can type search their name in the group me and if it pop up just go ahead and text them or you could just it, it's supposed to have like that email or something on the thing where it say who your roommate is um save a space by storing your items in your hamper or trash can just make sure you don't take up the whole fucking room okay like i do and wait to the last minute to buy all your toiletries because you just never know i say wait till you get to school to buy like all the decorations all the toiletries all that the only thing you need to be bringing out of state is your clothes your makeup your shoes that's it everything else you get at school but yeah y'all that's pretty much it girl Hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe and i'm dropping Another one of these videos to give y'all some more tips and tricks. Tips and tricks. I really hope you guys love this. I love making these videos. If y'all want more or have any questions, make sure you guys comment down below. I love y'all so much, and we are out of here. Passing up on my old ways. I can't